everyone, my name is Brittany and we're so excited you're joining us today. Today we're talking about the story of Gehazi's eyes being opened. Gehazi was kind of freaking out when he and Elisha were surrounded by an enemy army. But Elisha prayed that the Lord would open his eyes and when he did that, Gehazi saw a much larger army of angels surrounding their enemy. After that, Gehazi wasn't so worried anymore. Many of us need our eyes opened as well. Not our physical eyes, but our spiritual eyes. And when the eyes of our hearts are opened, it allows our trust in Jesus to grow more and more. And that's why today we're saying every day I can trust Jesus. We're gonna start things off by singing a song together. So let's go ahead, stand up, sing this out with us as loud as you can.
You guys sounded so good. Thank you for singing along with us. And now we're gonna take some time to watch a Bible story together. Like I said earlier, today's story is about Gehazi's eyes being opened. So let's check it out. A long time ago, the king of Aram chose a spot for the Israelites to fall into his trap. The ambush was a secret. The Israelites couldn't find it on a map. A holy man learned of the king of Aram's plot. I must tell my king, he quickly thought. This man was no ordinary Israelite. His name was Elisha the prophet. His gift was very special. Not even kings could top it. Elisha was a messenger of God and could tell others what God said. He could even warn leaders before evil plans had a chance to spread. Elisha told the king of Israel, Watch out! King Aram has set up a trap for your army in this place. It's an ambush you do not want to face. The king of Israel warned his army not to visit that place. But the king of Aram found out and was furious. How could the Israelites find out? King Aram was very curious. The king of Aram called his officers and asked, Which one of you gave our secret away to the king of Israel? Tell me fast. Sir, Elisha was the one who told of our secret plan. He must not be any ordinary man. The king of Aram sent horses and chariots to surround Elisha's town. He planned to stage a violent showdown. Elisha's servant saw the horses and chariots and was worried. But Elisha replied in a hurry. Don't worry, there's no need to hide. We have God's angels on our side. And because God loves and favors us so, we can be confident we are safe. This I know. God, open my servant's eyes and let him see, so he knows that he's safe with God and believes me. The scene was incredible. The servant was amazed. God's protection was visible. The servant knew to give God praise. The servant's eyes were open to see God's actions. When the Arameans eventually attacked, Elisha prayed with passion. God, make the Arameans blind so that all they see is darkness before their eyes. The entire Aramean army was blinded by God's power. They followed Elisha straight to the king of Israel in a matter of hours. As they entered the city, Elisha prayed from afar. God, open their eyes so that they see where they are. The king of Israel wanted to defeat the Aramean army, but Elisha had other plans. Send the army back to their king and get ready to prepare them a feast. They've done enough for today and should be released. Because of God's power and protection, the Arameans didn't bother Israel anymore. Remember, no matter what happens, God is fighting our battles in the midst of any war. What an incredible story. Elisha's servant Gehazi was totally freaking out, but then God opened his eyes. Our friend, Pastor Andrew, is going to be talking to us a little bit more about our story right now, so let's take a look. To see, I have to wear contacts or my glasses. If I don't, everything looks blurry to me. Kind of like this. Yeah, it's not great. But no matter how good or how bad your physical eyesight is, we also have a spiritual eyesight too. And usually, our spiritual eyes need some major help. Jesus talked about this a lot. He would be in a crowd of people and talk about how the religious leaders were being blind. And he would say to others, you see, but never know what you are seeing. And then Jesus would say that some people were blessed because they had eyes to see. Now again, Jesus wasn't saying, you all need glasses because your eyes are messed up, but he was talking about their spiritual vision they needed to see something that was impossible for them to see on their own. We have all sorts of amazing machines that help us see things that we could never see on our own. We have night vision goggles that allow people to see even when it's totally dark outside. If you had a pair of these goggles, then you would never stub your toe in the dark again. And then 
we have infrared goggles that allow us to see the heat coming off of something or someone. It can make you look like you're on fire or glowing these crazy colors. Isn't that awesome? We even have x-rays that allow us to see inside of a person. Think for a moment about how amazing that is, being able to see inside, whoa. So yeah, there's all sorts of these devices that help us see things that we could never see on our own. And that's what Jesus is talking about. He wants us to know that there's a way of seeing that we could never have on our own. Jesus wants us to know that there's so much more happening all around us that our normal eyes will never be able to see. And even better news, we don't have to have some type of strange goggles to help us see this way. Ever wondered just how exactly God sees things? Introducing the God Goals. This revolutionary, never before seen device allows you to see how God sees. Get yours today for the low price of $77.77. The God Goals are not guaranteed to work. Please consult your doctor before using this product. They cause skin irritation, hot off fingers, sudden incomplete pizza face, memory loss, bees knees, uncontrollable dance breaks, and ability to dance, temporary tooth loss, or blindness. Order yours today! Uh, yeah, those aren't real. The only way we're able to see this way is by God opening our spiritual eyes to see more of what God sees. Think of your heart as having eyes, and those eyes are dark. No light is getting through, and then God sends light to the eyes of your heart, and your heart begins to see. That's the start of the eyes of your heart being opened to see what Jesus has done for you. And after you see this, you know this, then we can pray that God continues to open the eyes of our hearts to see this life more of the way that he sees it. And it allows our trust in him to grow so that every day I can trust Jesus. Pastor Andrew talked about how there's so much more happening all around us that our normal eyes will never be able to see. But even though your natural eyes can't see God, we know that He is close to us. So that's it for this week, and thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time.